Hey, hi, what's up? So today I want to talk about something very interesting. Um, you know how when when you go date someone, you're you know you have like typical criteria where you say you know this person has to look like this, this person has to have that kind of job, they should have gone to a college like this, or they should be living in a city like this or a house like that, and so on. Um, one thing that we miss out on um, almost always is uh, understanding how compatible we are with the other person from a conflict resolution style perspective. Each of us has a very different way of dealing with conflicts and how two people in a relationship deal with conflict is super important because relationships are all about actions and reactions on a on a everyday basis constantly it's about what the other person does and how you react and vice versa right so given that given that relationships are all about interactions between between two people the nature of the interaction really defines the quality of that relationship so how do you actually go about studying the nature of a relationship when I say conflict resolution styles, what do I mean? So if you're faced with a difficult situation, how do you deal with that difficult situation? Do you like to confront it head on? Do you like to avoid it, pretend like it doesn't exist or ignore it? Or do you completely shut off and, and don't know what to do because you just panic and, you know, uh, it stresses you and scares you? Or are you someone who, who completely lashes out and, you know, completely loses control uh, when faced with a difficult situation? So depending on how you react to a difficult situation, you can identify your conflict resolution self. Like, for instance, I am someone who... Um, likes to resolve things who likes to solve talk about it confront it and resolve things but if i feel like i'm hitting a roadblock i shut off so my conflict resolution style is broadly mixed uh, but at the end of the day i'm someone who likes to resolve things and close things rather than pretending like they don't exist right so think about all the times that you know you were faced with a difficult situation either with friends or family and how you react reacted in the past or how you react in general that will tell you a little bit about your conflict resolution style now in a couple if the two people have very different conflict resolution styles if one person is someone uh, who just screams and the other person is someone who just shuts off now it becomes very difficult to to resolve issues on a regular basis right uh, neither of you is really inching anywhere closer to a solution things are not getting resolved they're just accumulating and at some point you know the whole thing is going to blow up or there are other situations where one person wants to resolve whereas the other person doesn't and they 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 want to escape they just shut off so what happens is it builds a lot of frustration on the part of the person who wants to resolve and the person who shuts off feels like they're constantly being nagged so when you have very different conflict resolution styles it becomes very important that you find a a a path that works for both partners and that can only be built over time if you fundamentally have different conflict resolution styles but you know if you're just dating if you're just meeting people getting to know them assessing you know whether you want to spend the rest of your life with them this is something you can absolutely figure out about them before you you get into a committed relationship with them where you just have to work with what you've got but if you've got a certain uh, conflict resolution style or a preference for your partner's conflict resolution style you should aim to sort of find that in your partner because this is this defines the nature of your relationship on an everyday basis because you're going to be fighting for plenty of silly things on a daily basis and you don't want these these silly arguments about banal things to to sort of result in um, in crazier turmoils that that blow up uh, you know in the face of time so what you want to do is find out how people react to difficult situations ask them hey you know uh, when you fight with your parents or siblings or you know uh, with your friends um, are you someone who who likes to resolve things are you someone who's very expressive or do you shut off and tell them about how you are and ask them what they think about how important um, 
aligning on conflict resolution styles or building a building a sort of um, path that works for both people is like so that will give you some clue about how willing uh, or how flexible someone is in terms of um, building a good sort of um, communication uh, style or building a sort of good you want to see how inclined the other person is uh, in terms of building a good uh, foundation for the relationship because if you don't align on how you're going to fight or how you're going to resolve arguments which there will be plenty of in a relationship you are going to have a lot of trouble dealing with bigger challenges in a relationship Thank you.